चक्षरक्षांसी स्त्रिय शुद्रा प्रजोकश खगा मृगा पाप जीवा सन्ति अत्युतांगशन ओ माई फ्रेंड्स ओ सन्स ऑफ डीमस एवर वन इनक्लूडिंग यो दक्षस एंड राक्षस दि ऑन इंटेलिजेंट वुमेन शूद्रस एंड कावर मेन दि बर्ड्स दि लोअर एनिमल्स and the sinful living entities can revive his original eternal spiritual life and exist forever simply by accepting the principles of bhakti yoga but the devotees are referred to as achyuta gotra or the dynasty of the supreme personality of godhead the lord is called achyuta As indicated in Bhagavad Gita, the Nayor Vayor Madhya Ratham Sthapyo Miyachyuta. The Lord is infallible in the material world because He is the supreme spiritual person. Simply, similarly, the jivas, who are part and parcel of the Lord, can also become infallible. Although Prahlad's mother was in the con- conditional state. and was the wife of a demon hey that was the neta sanaya wife of the demon even jakshas rakshasas women shudras and even bards and other lower living entities can be elevated to the chuta gotra the family of the supreme personality of godhead that is the highest perfection as krishna never falls when we revive our spiritual consciousness krishna consciousness we never fall again to material existence one should understand the position of the supreme achyuta krishna who says in bhagavad gita janma karmam tame divyam evam jo veti tatvatah tatva deham punar janma naiti mangeti to arjuna one who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities doesn't upon living this body take his birth again in this material world but attains my eternal abode o arjuna one should understand achyuta the supreme infallible and how we are related with him once so take to the service of the lord this is the perfection of life shila mata charya says achyuta tam chuti varjanam the word achyuta tam refers to one who never falls to this material world but always remains in the vaikuntha world fully engaged in the service of the lord दैतया दक्षरक्षांसी स्त्रिया शूद्रा ब्रजौकषा खगा मृगा पाप जीवा सी अच्युतता प्रहलाद महाराज सेज टू डिमोनिया को फ्रेंड्स ओ माई फ्रेंड्स एवरी वन इंक्लूडिंग यू दक्ष एंड राक्षस the unintelligent women sudras and kavar men the birds the lower animals and the sinful living entities can revive the original eternal spiritual life and exist forever simply by accepting the principles of bhakti yoga the bhakti yoga is so powerful mm. all can accept it mm. jakshas rakshasas unintelligent women sudras birds the lower animal sinful living entities can also revive their original eternal spiritual life and exist forever simply accepting principles of bhakti yoga when question may be raised here i like the the dakshas and rakshasas demons unintelligent women shudras kavar men they can accept bhakti yoga ha 
if they can accept a bona fide spiritual master and will taught by him and under his guidance practice this principle of bhakti yoga so they can attain this stage you understand mm. can be elevated to that achyuta gotra huh? but how is this the lower animals birds lower animals on sinful living entities can revive the original eternal spiritual life and exist forever simply by accepting the principles of bhakti yoga can they understand the lower animals the birds the sinful living entities can they understand this bhakti yoga tattva this teaching is given only to human beings not the others and lord species lord species not than human beings isn't it because their consciousness is very very low even covered consciousness ha uh, covered consciousness they cannot understand how is that prahlad maharaj says even the birds lower animals and sinful living entities can revive the original eternal spiritual life how is it for the low species of life can revive the spirit of consciousness life just by some vibration sound by this what do you mean by that hmm? if any living uh, for example animals or birds hmm. if they can hear the sound the sound the mean kirtan mah mantra hmm. yes by hearing that sound of worship they can they can uh, Um, they can get benefit, spiritual benefit. Spiritual benefit. That can they revive their original eternal spiritual life? Yes. How can? A uh, dog can do. Okay. A hawk can do. Can a dog do? Can a hawk do? No, in the in the in the very life time, but okay. Progressive. No nonsense. <laughs> they all are going in progressive way in the say what do you say the kama vikash pantha karma karma evolution evolution process all are going evolution process you see and at last they will become human being then what is the benefit if they will go and that evolution are result no no That's not the fact. They won't go. They won't undergo this evolutionary process. Immediately after that birth, they will become human beings and be bhakta. Then stand. That is the purport of the Lord Maharaj saying. Then stand. Even the birds, lower animals, sinful living entities can revive the original spirit of life. if they are fortunate enough they can hear if this sound vibration transcendental sound vibration of hari naam hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 naam hari naam ram ram this transcendental sound vibration can reach into their ears you understand they will be purified then sent and after the death that means when they the their present body will be finished the next life will be human life and they will become bhakta you understand ah huh? become bhakta or devotee but we have this instance the dog of shivananda che then sen shivananda sen had a dog ha eh? so that soul was in dog species in dog's body but was a great devotee ha eh? because he was with shivananda sen 
was a great devotee, very dear devotee of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Huh? Very great Vaishnav, elevated Vaishnav, isn't it? So, that dog was always hearing this kirtan that Sivananda Sin was doing and eating prasad. You understand? He was never going out and eating abominable things too, etc. Never. Only he was eating prasad. So he was a devotee. Eh? But by chance, in his previous life, he might have kept a dog. And when at the time of quitting the body, he might have thought of that dog. As Bharat Maharaj thought of the deer. So next birth was deer. Then similarly, that was the case. Hmm. So those who are Vaishnavas, uh, it is said that Vaishnava Paradukhi Dukhi. The Vaishnavas are very merciful to all living entities. You understand? Vaishnava could understand and Vaishnava knows it very well that all these are all Atmas, souls. Uh, they are all related, eternally related to Krishna. Isn't it? Uh, they, are, they are Krishna's. Isn't it? But they have committed, they have abused their minute independence eh, and committed some sinful activities. Therefore, they are now in the species. Eh? So, I will shower my mercy upon them. I will deliver them. As if they will again revive their original consciousness and eternally related that revive that eternal relationship with Krishna and be liberated to that state, that achieve of Mahaprabhu. And Vaishnava does it. When Mahaprabhu came, you understand? When Mahaprabhu came uh, here, 500 years ago, uh, he de- delivered one and all, even this lower species, you understand? When he was traveling through Jharikhanda forest, he could make this tigers, lions, deer, uh, and birds, all the jungle animals chant Hare Krishna and make them dance also. He has power because he is the Supreme Lord, isn't it? Very wonderful power he had. He can do so. Do you understand? He has some Vaishnav, like Sivananda said, will be so powerful, he can also do it. Do you understand? As Mahaprabhu did, he can also do it. If he is so powerful, then spiritually very powerful. It is not impossible on his part. That we say, that we sing, that song is there. Jata Vaishnava, Vrindavana Vasi Jata. Vrindavana Vasi Jata Vaishnava Raga. Tathame Vandana Kari Shavarachara. Nilachala Vasi Jata Mahaprabhu Raga. Bhumita Bhadiya Vandha Shavarachara. Nabodhigo Vasi Jata Mahaprabhu Raga. Shavarachara Nabodhigo Vasi Jata Mahaprabhu Raga. Brahmana Tarita Sakti Dhare Dhani Dhani. Ye Pedo Purani Guno Gaya Jeva. You understand? Do you follow it? Brahmana Tarita Sakti Dhare Dhani Dhani. Ye Pedo Purani Guno Gaya Jeva. It is there in that song. Do you know that song? I don't know it. Here, but you should sing it. Huh? Vrindavana Vasi Jata Vaishnava Vira Gona Prathami Vandana Kuri Shavar So, you understand, you should sing it. Very nice song, written by Devakinam Nandas, the Vaishnava. You understand? In that song it is stated, 
ब्रह्मांड तारीते शक्ति धरे जन जन सच वैष्णव दे आर सो पावरफुल दैट एवरी वैष्णव कैन डेलीवर दि होल वर्ल्ड यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी वैष्णव कैन डेलीवर दि होल वर्ल्ड ब्रह्मांड तारीते शक्ति धरे जन जन ए वेद पुराण गुण गाय जेवा सुने इट इज ऑल से इन वेद पुराण देन सेन एंड इफ वन हियर्स दिस थिंग ही विल बी सो पावरफुल आल्सो हां इज वंडरफुल दैट इज स्टेटेड देयर हां सो वन हु बिकम सच ए पावरफुल वैष्णव ही कैन आल्सो डिलीवर हां ऑल दिस बट टू स्पीक ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स जक्षस एंड राक्षस even the lord space is applied then send bars and who hmm? all will be delivered is that part now for prahlad maharaj says that all should be elevated to that achyuta gotra because originally they are from achyuta gotra you understand hmm? achyuta means infallible कृष्ण इज सेट एज अच्युत मध्य प्रथम स्थापय में अच्युत अर्जुन एड्रेस्ट कृष्ण एज अच्युत बिकॉज ही इज इन वैल्युबल इन नेवर फॉल्स डाउन हिस्सा इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड और एग्जिस्टेंस एग्जिस्टेंट ही इज ऑलवेज इटरनली इन इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल अबोर्ड or in other word in transcendental position then stand he is always there though he comes here he descends here out of his colorless mercy to this material world to deliver the bhakta sadhu and to annihilate the miscreant jadad bhai dharmasya let us bhagavad gita so koi me refer to it then stand but he never falls down hmm? so you being jiva and eternal part and parcel of that is you though you are also a jiva isn't it but you have fallen down here you have forgotten that you are a jiva eh? eternal part and parcel of a jiva you have fallen down from that position Huh? Because by abusing your, let the mind of independence and accepting Maya, understand? But you can defy it. When lower species of life, huh, can defy but to speak of the human being. How can you do it? Hmm. by accepting the principle of bhakti yes by accepting the principle of bhakti yoga means by accepting a spiritual master bona fide spiritual master who is a great devotee paramahansa ha eh? your devotee then stand we just good as lord hari sakshat dhari pena samasta shastri then stand who is in the same platform with hari ha eh? Then it will become a chuta. You will come to the such chuta gotra. Then then, so when one accepts such a spiritual master and becomes Vaishnav, eh, comes to this revive his chuta gotra. Then then, so he should not again fall down. Should not again be chuta. Chuta means eligible. Then then, should not be chuta. It's because it's a chuta now. Ah, uh-huh. do you understand? The last to not because it's so powerful. This bhakti yoga process is so powerful. Ah, uh-huh. but uh, our question is there: Why there are so many fall down? Becoming a chuta gotra, accepting a chuta gotra, becoming Vaishnava and again fall down, become chuta. How is it? How is it? But answer can you give? 
Huh? Because they deviate from the principles of bhakti yoga. They deviate from the path, deviated from the path of bhakti yoga. And they commit it. That offense. Huh? Gurbha Bhagyan, that we say. Huh? They disobeyed the order of their spiritual master. They committed that nama apra. You understand? That's what they fall down. But no question of falling down. Because they have accepted us in Sabutra. They have revived their original consciousness. If actually they have revived, you understand? If actually they have accepted that Achyuta Gotra, then no question of falling, Chyuta. One should be very, very cautious. No, now I am, I have accepted Achyuta Gotra. Eh? How can I be Chyuta? I should not. You understand? I should not. Hmm? As you see, in Bhagavad Gita you will find, Arjuna was a great warrior, Khetriya, you understand? Eh? He had fought many battles in his life and was victorious, isn't it? He was never defeated. Eh? So when he came to fight with the, in this Kurukhetra battle, eh? Mahabharata Jutta, eh? Kurukhetra battle and he saw his kit and keen on relatives, eh? So delusion came up. Huh? So he said, Krishna, not to fight. No, they are my own relations. We have blood relationship. You understand? Huh? Own friends, own relatives, kith and kin, son, father, like that. Huh? How can I kill them? My spiritual master, my preceptor, guru, drone was there. Huh? How can I kill them? This is sinful activity. You see, I will go to hell. And the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the Arjuna saying was there. Do you understand? And then this is known as Moha, delusion. Huh? So, Krishna advised him as his friend, Sakha. Hmm? Oh, my dear friend, why are you lamenting? Huh? Anarja the stone. Huh? He says, Anarja Dushtam, Akirti Karam, Anarja Dushtam, Akirti Karam, Satome, Utasta Idam, Karma, Dur Dur Bol, Udezar Bolyam, Karma, Udezar Bolyam, Chakta Pesto, This is the weakness of the heart, Udezar Bolyam. Huh? You are such a great hero, Khetriya, huh? so famous, isn't it? Huh? And why such uh, this weakness of heart enter into you? Is not it uh, very good thing on your part? It's onarja dustam. Those are onarjas. Huh? They may be like that, lamenting. But you are Arjo, such a great hero. Huh? Why such? Seeing this weakness of heart entered into you. You give up all these things. You get up, fight, fight. Just encouraging him. You understand? Hmm? But uh, Arjun was so much aggrieved. No, 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 I can't do it. Gandhium Sansate Hasta Torseva Parida Yate. Oh, Arjun. Eh? This Gandhiva bow is falling down, sleeping from my hand. I cannot catch hold of it, you see. Eh? Whole body is burning. My body is burning. My head really. I cannot stand up. How can I fight? You see? Then Krishna Bhagavan says, You Arjuna, you are such a famous hero. Uh -huh. All are, are praising you. If you won't fight, if you 
just go away. And turning your back, you understand? Turning your back, it will leave this fighting. All will blame you. You understand? Ninda, blame you. Huh? It, it will be very much in, unbearable, intolerable on your part. It's even more than death. Can you solve it? It's more than death. You understand? Huh? That Krishna says. Hmm? That is that was. Hmm? It's more than death. Can you solve it? Do you know that about? Huh? You know? Huh? You don't know Sanskrit. <laughs> what does the Vaishnav you are? <laughs> Vaishnav said, no Sanskrit. It's called Sanskrit Vast, authority. Vaishnavam Sloka Bhaktaram. They said the definition of Vaishnav. Who is a Vaishnav? We'll quote Sanskrit Vast Sloka and explain it. It's Vaishnav. Do you understand? Huh? That verse is there in Bhagavad Gita. You may find out. I cannot recollect now. Do you understand? It is more than death, intolerable, unbearable. Do you understand? That uh, defamation or blame the others will do. Huh? You should not do it. Similarly, if someone has accepted a chuta gotra, do you understand? And again falls down, becomes chuta gotra, chuta. It is a life more than death, unbearable, unstellable. That I say. Do you understand? One should not do like that. One should be very, very cautious of it. No, I won't fall down. I'll keep up this position, a chuta gotra. Do you understand? Yeah? In, in Srimad Bhagavad Fourth Canto, it is stated uh, regarding Truth Maharaj. Sarvatras Kalitadesa Sapta Deepika Danda Dhruk Annatra Brahmana Kulada Annatra Achyuta Gotra Bhava. That's what Achyuta Gotra is mentioned there. Fourth Canto, Srimad Bhagavad Twenty First Chapter, Twelve Bhagavad. You understand? Yeah? Sarvatras Kalita Adesa Sapta Deepika Danda Dhruk Annatra Brahmana Kulada Annatra Achyuta Gotra Bhava. You understand? Prutu Maharaj was a very powerful emperor, emperor of the whole world, you understand? Mm. So, he was ruling over one and all, his administration mm, was there. But his administration uh, was not inflicted upon Brahmana and Achyuta Gotri of Vaishnava. Do you understand? Huh? Do you understand? That was not applicable for them. Uh, that is stated. Annatra Brahman Kulal Annatra Achyuta Gotra. So here Achyuta Gotra is stated. Those who are Brahmanas, they are Achyuta Gotriya. Achyuta Gotriya. And Vaishnavas are Achyuta Gotriya. Achyuta Gotriya, Achyuta Gotriya. Do you understand? Chuta means fallible, Chuta means infallible. Eh? The Brahmana, so-called Brahmanas are Chuta Gotriya. But Vaishnavas are more than Brahmana, so they are Chuta Gotriya. Do you understand? Hmm? If some Brahmana will accept a Vaishnava Guru eh, and will be initiated by him, then he will become Vaishnava. He will come to Chuta Gotra. From Chyuta Gotra, you will come to Achyuta Gotra. Do you understand? Hmm. This word Brahmana comes from the word Brahma. Brahma is Anati, Brahmana. Do you understand? Huh? From Brahma, the word Brahma, this word comes Brahmana. One who knows Brahma, Brahma Tattva is Brahmana. Do you understand? Huh? What is Brahma and what is Brahmana? And the opposite word of Brahmana is Krupa. Krupa, Krupa, Krupa. You understand? 
means sudra. Ah? Very narrow minded. Kripan means narrow minded is sudra. You understand? The opposite word of Brahman. Brahman is broad minded. You understand? And he knows Brahman Tattva. Brahman Brahman Tattva Brahma iti nigadya de sastra se. Brahman Brahman Tattva Brahma. That is Brahma. That means Brahma is great. Brahma Shabde Ishwara Kohe Swayam Bhagavan Mahaprabhu said. That's it. And when he was discussing with my body, Sarvam Bhattacharya and that uh, Saraswati, Prakasananda Saraswati in Kashi, uh, they were stressing on Brahma, Brahma, Brahma. Then said, then Mahaprabhu said, what is that Brahma? Brahma Shabde Ishwara Kohe Swayam Bhagavan, Swayam Bhagavan Krishna, Sastra Brahma. Do understand? Brahma means Bhagavan Krishna is great. Hmm? But you never speak of that thing. He taught him. Do you understand? It's both part Brahman and part Brahma. It's great. Spreaded everywhere, you see. Sarva Bhapaka is Brahma. It's Sajananda Maya Vastu. Do you understand? Sat is Ananda Maya Vastu. That is Vishnu. You understand? So, one who is really Brahman, the Vaishnava is really a Brahman. Because he knows Brahma. He knows the Sadhana Maya Vastu. Vishnu. The devotee of Vishnu. So he is Vaishnava. You understand? You follow me? Eh? If someone becomes Vaishnava, doesn't know such great thing, Brahma. Eh? And Vishnu. <coughs> How can he will be Brahman? Eh? A Vaishnava is natural Brahman. You understand? Natural Brahman. Shobhavja Brahman. Mm. There are two Brahmanas, two kinds. One Jati Brahman and Shobhavja Brahman. Caste Brahman, Jati Brahman. You understand? Caste Brahman. They have no qualification Brahman, they still they say, I am Brahman. Caste Brahman. But Vaishnava is natural Brahman. You understand? If such Brahman will become Vaishnava, then will real Brahman. Do you understand? Otherwise, this Brahma Gyan, eh, this Brahmananda will be completely annihilated, destroyed by Mahakar. You know Mahakar? Great car. When Krishna manifest thought, showed his universal form, such great youth. Eh? Very fast. You understand? Very fearful. Eh? Even Arjuna was afraid, was fearful. Eh? Eh? He was trembling, he was so much in a state of fearfulness, eh? he was just folding his hands and bowing down. Eh? A great Pasjati. Right side and left side. You understand? That is eleven chapter. You see, Bhagavad Gita, eleven chapter. You understand? That is there. Huh? And he asks, Ko Bhavan Ugra Rupa. Yes. Who are you, such fearful? Harm? Who are you? Arjuna asks, Ko Bhavan Ugra Rupa. <laughs> Who are you, such fearful? Harm? Huh? Krishna was his sakha, friend, he couldn't understand it. Krishna is like that. Eh? You see. Then he said, Krishna said, Kala Asmi in Loka Kyakutra Bhutta. I am Kala. I have come to annihilate all this Loka. Then he said. So that is known as Kala, Maha Kala, who annihilates it. You understand? If so-called Brahman eh, cannot understand this Brahma Tattva, then his so-called Brahma Gyan will be annihilated and destroyed by that Mahakar. 
understand. But the one who is really Vaishnav, a Chuta Gotriya, he won't be destroyed. There's a difference. You understand? Difference between Brahma and Vaishnav. Brahmana is a Chuta Gotriya, whereas Vaishnava is a Chuta Any question? Isn't it? Despite the others, Yudhishthir, Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, Sade, they are known as Pandavas because they are sons of Pandavas. So Pandavas. But Kaurava means those who come under this Kuru dynasty. Kuru means a famous king was there in that dynasty. Instead, <coughs> As the dynasty of Ramchandra is known as Raghubansha, a famous king Raghu was there. Similarly, a king was there. His name was Kuru. So, it's very famous. So, by his name, that dynasty is known as Kauravabansha. So, both Pandavas and Kauravas, they belong to that dynasty. Because both Dhritarashtra and Pandu belong to that dynasty. So, all are Kauravas. Do you understand? But, these five brothers specifically known as Pandavas. Why? They are Kauravas still, but they are specifically known as Pandavas. Very famous. You understand? Pandavutra five. And Arjun, I am saying, you will find in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has addressed Arjun, O Kuru Nandan. Why he says Kuru Nandan? In descendants of Kuru. You understand? So he is Kaurava. So, Kuru Sreshtha, Kuru Nandan, these words are mentioned there. Addressing Arjuna. So, Arjuna was also descendant of Kuru, Kaura. Then, but they are specifically known as Pandava. Then, but and the sons of Dhruta Rashtra, uh, they are known as this father's name, they are known as Pandava. They are known as Dhartha Rashtri. Dhartha Rashtri. Then, same. Those, that word is theirs. But they are hundred in number, and so all of them are Kauravas, and they are brothers. They are fighting. The brothers are fighting with one another. Then, same. So, Kaurava means both Pandavas and Kauravas. They are all Kauravas. They come under that good Vansha. But these five brothers are special, known as Pandavas. Still they are Kauravas. Arjuna said, Guru Nandan, Guru Sreshtha. Why he has said? Because he comes under that dynasty. You understand? I forgot to tell that thing as well. I remember. I clarify your doubt nicely. All right.